Hey guys, it's Rachel. It has been a hot second since I've done a sat down video. I feel like all I've done lately is vlogs, 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 which is fine, but I think it's time for us to sit down and have a little one-on-one, -on -one, you know? I am wearing Glenderman's Pokemon t-shirt and there's nothing he can do about it because he's not here and he won't know about it unless he watches this video. So it'll be our secret. <laughs> My mom got it for him for Christmas and I kind of like it a lot. It's nice and soft. But anyway, today's video. It has been almost a year now since I did my last, like, I'm growing up my hair, hair history video. So far I've done two of these. I will link them down below and I'll put little cards or whatever the little, like, strip is along the top, whatever you want to call those. But basically, I can easily say the last five years I've been like, I want long hair, but I've always had short hair. <laughs> I've been had long hair since I was probably about 16 and now I want like super duper long hair. I've always had kind of like pixie cuts, long on top, shaved around the sides, and this is it grown out. I can finally say that I have grown it out. I now have a bob and that's pretty cool. It's an awkward shape right now because I'm afraid to cut it. <laughs> but yeah, in the last two videos that I've done like this, I have basically said, hey, I'm growing out my hair. This is what it looks like now. And I've gone through what I've done to it in the past however long. So now it's been a year and I'm gonna show you guys what it's gone through. This year I can say I was pretty nice to it as far as coloring goes. Stayed away from the bleach for the most part and then bleached it all. <laughs> so in my last hair history video, I was kind of in the midst of growing out the undercut and it was looking really shaggy and really awful, but um, the color of it was so nice. I loved having a lot of my natural and then the bits of like turquoise on the ends and that's kind of where I'm trying to get back to. I'm playing around with color, but I will eventually go back to turquoise because this is my favorite color to be and I miss it. So I'm gonna show you all those photos. So this was my favorite color to be. And from there, I would bounce back and forth between that turquoise color and like a dark, like foresty kind of green. This photo doesn't totally like show my hair, but I kind of wanted to add this one because this is when I started to realize that my hair was actually kind of wavy, which I had never had before until it I started to see it longer and that was kind of cool. Today I straightened it for you guys just to see how truly long it is, but um, now I'm, I mostly wear it wavy and then flat iron it here and there. Not only because less heat is better, but also I've really enjoyed having kind of wavy, curly-ish hair. And then this was my first day at a new job. I'm a hairstylist, if you don't know that already. And I diffused my hair and it was cute and curly and green. And then I got new glasses and felt really weird about having turquoise hair and no longer having turquoise glasses. So I decided to change it up a bit. Here's me with some cute foils in my hair. And this was the outcome. So there was still turquoise, but I added more blue and kind of violet tones to match the new, the new specs. There's another little shot. You can see that there's more brown in my hair. It's growing more and I kind of really miss that. I can't wait for my roots to grow out now. I don't know. I always really like having my natural color, but then obviously I, I miss the funky colors. So I think having a longer ombre will be nice. Another sassy shot. In this one, you can see that the like length in the front is starting to catch up and be more like a bob kind of shape except i would always tuck it behind my ear because it wasn't actually long enough to be a bob whoa and this is when the change happened so so because i was growing out the sides all the sides in the back were brown and then the top was where you know the color had been as it grew out you could kind of see the difference between the colored turquoise and then the brown and it drove me crazy so I colored it all one solid color. And of course I picked red. 
I looked very miserable in those photos, but I was kind of just wanting, like, trying to show the color. I don't, uh, uh. It was a very, like, bright red, and I chose to go brighter rather than darker first because it's easier to go darker than to go lighter. And then here's a shot of Glen G and I in our new apartment. Again, still a very bright red. And then I decided that it was too clownish for me and I needed to darken it up a bit. And so we did this. Pretty dark, uh, but then in the sunlight, it actually still looks pretty vibrant. There's this in the sunlight. And then I had my hair school buddy, Amy, come down. We hung out, I did her hair, and then I, I told her to put some little lighter pieces on the bottoms because I eventually wanted to get rid of the red. Looking back, I wish I'd kept that for a little longer because it was pretty cute, but I was pretty antsy and decided to do the bottoms purple. I realized that was just like a blob of hair, but whatever, you, you get the idea. So it was kind of cute. It was like a, a magenta-y and then like a purple-y and that was fun for a little bit. Ooh, starting to get longer. Looks like a real bob now at this point. And then it started to fade and my roots grew in and it drove me absolutely nuts. So I decided to bleach all over and color a bunch of different colors. This picture doesn't totally show it, but it was basically turquoise blue and bits of purple. And that was fun. I have a review of these um, hair colors. Actually, they're by Arctic Fox. So if you want to check that video out, I'll have that below as well. And then as that started to fade, I wanted to be more of like a solid color because the upkeep of like redoing where the colors were is kind of annoying to do yourself. So I went all over purple and I've kind of been all over purple since, but there's been variations. I would do it like all over like a nice deep rich purple and then I would let it fade and be pastel-y. So this is what it looked like as it faded. And then it started to get really like rosy warm on the bottoms. And I didn't like that too much. So then this was around Christmas time before my like works holiday party. I had one of the girls at work color it to be more of like a, a, a bluey purple because I do know that I eventually want to get to turquoise. <laughs> Oh yeah, now that it's getting longer, I've been starting to like wear it pulled back a lot more. I can't fully get it into a ponytail. It's just, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I can get it pulled back, but then you got these little guys that, that want to fall out. So no. <laughs> yeah, wearing it pulled back halfway and then little bows have been my savior. And then this last picture is what this was freshly dyed and then this is it faded. So yeah, that's what my hair's been through in the last year. And it has grown quite a lot now that you can see. Ooh. Now that I am all out of purple hair color, I will be working my way to that turquoise color. First, I'll probably do more of like a true blue to try and get rid of any kind of warm tones that come with the purple. And then we'll work our way to turquoise and green and I will stay put there for a very long time, I think. Basically what I'm doing now is just growing out my roots. Once they get to a longer kind of point, I will feather in some lightener and then recolor whatever color it is at the time. I basically just let it grow into an ombre because I ain't got time to be doing my roots all the time. And also, it's a lot more healthy for my hair to not be touching bleach to it every two seconds. But yeah, it's, it's growing and I'm excited. I'm officially like enjoying the length that it is now. It's past any kind of like, uh, awkward stages. I know the next awkward stage is when it's gonna really hit my shoulders and wanna like flip up. Uh, but until then, we're gonna just, just gonna rock this. I think I, until I am at my like ultimate like mermaid hair goal, I'll make one of these once a year. I think it's just fun to look back on and actually like see that my hair has grown. Like those pictures when I had red hair, like they were short and I didn't realize how short they were. So yeah, that's, that's that. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Oh, and I've been getting a lot of comments on uh, my cheek piercings, the video when I took them out. They are doing fine. I will do an official update at the like six month mark, so probably in March then. Um, but yeah, they're, they're doing fine. I mean, they definitely still look like there's holes in my face, but it's fine. I'm fine with it. But yeah, look forward to that. Yeah, again, if you want to see the first two videos in this kind of series, you can. They are down below. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. If you want to check out my last two videos, uh, we have my Christmas vlog and then also my mom reacting to her birthday present. Go check it out. It was funny. Bye!